Hello students, I'm Parwiz and welcome to my another course on building backend REST API using Python and Django REST framework. So this course is divided into different lessons. We are going to start from the fundamental concepts on Django REST framework. And after that, we are going to build a practical project, a practical block API project with uh, session authentication and also token authentication. And also we will have different authentication mechanisms. So now let's check that what we are going to build. This is the simple project that we are going to build. We are going to build our backend REST API using Django REST framework. And also we are going to deploy that to Heroku. You can see that now that our REST API is in the Heroku. So right now we can see that authentication credentials were not provided uh, because we cannot access the API articles. And if I log in, so I can just log in now uh, through login, I can access the so okay. Now I can give the username and also my password, and after that, I can just click on login. So now I can access all the articles, okay? So right now, also you can create another article. So, for example, from here, uh, this is for testing, and we can just add a description and post. You can see that's added. This is for testing and this is the author. You can see we have ID4. This is the Slack. We have dynamic Slack. This is the author. This is the title, description, and this is the published date. Now, th these are the author, Slack, the ID, and the published date. These are added automatically. And if I go to the API route and if I go to here, you can see that now we have ID4. This is for testing. Okay. So now you can see that we are logged in as a this user. And you can see that this uh, article is not added by this user. Now, if I want to, so for example, if I want to access this user article, now my article, so because I'm logged in, I can just access the article through the Slack. And now I can access this. So you can see, you can delete the article. Also, you can update the article from here. You can just say, for example, update it. And if I put this, you can see that that is updated. For example, if I check the article or if I access the article that's not added by this user, for example, this is added by this new, this author is new user. But if I want to access this through the Slack, you will see that I cannot delete or update this. So you can see, I can see the article. So the ID, the Slack, the author, the title description, the publish date, but I cannot delete or access that because I have a custom permission and I don't have right to do this. Okay. Also, we have so a token based authentication. For example, uh, if I go to my admin panel, so I also have an administration panel. So first, let me show you. Also, you can uh, you have a registration. You can just uh, register a new user. Now, let me just show you that how you can register a new user to your system. So now I can just go to the DigiRestart, and from here you can just. Uh, uh, create a new user, for example, test tree, and we can just give the email address at gmail.com. We can just give the password like this, and uh, I can just, uh, uh, so now post. Okay, so now that's created, and we have a token in here. Now, if I log in uh, to the my administration panel, and let's just log in. Okay, so see, so. Okay, so we need to sign out now we can just log in okay because we were logged in through that user okay so now let's just log in okay now we are logged in if i go to the tokens you can see that we have the test uh, three it was uh yeah now this is the token now for example if i uh, if you use the postman and for example if i want to access the api articles so let me just show you so api uh articles so api uh, articles so for example if i use this through the postman and if i get this uh, you will see that i am receiving that the authentication credentials were not provided but if i for example get the token from here so uh, so for example this is the token uh, okay so we are on this page so let me close this window and we are in here. So you can just copy this and in here. So let's just go to the headers and I can just say authorization token and I can paste the token send 
I can get all the articles. So if I uncheck this, if I send credentials authentication were not provided, if I check this, you can see that we can access the all articles that we have. Also, we can post articles. If I remove, a wrong, if I add a wrong token, and if I send this, you can see that invalid token. Now let's talk about the course requirements. In this course, we are using Django REST framework. Now Django REST framework is a Python library. To work with Django REST framework and build REST APIs in Python, you need to download Python. So you can just go to the python.org and from the downloads, you can download that. Uh, and I'm using Python 3.9. Uh, also for the IDs, I'm using PyCharm ID and also for the testing of the APIs, we are using Postman. So now let's get started. And this will be a practical project, a practical blog API project we are going to build and uh, let's get started.